Whoosh. So I put 18 inch wheels on this car and what I didn't realize by doing so, it actually seems to have introduced a little bit of positive camber. Today, hopefully, we are going to try and solve that a little bit. The stock um, suspension on the Carrera S will actually allow you to adjust the camber slightly, like one and a half degrees each way. If you want more than that, you'll have to get GT3 lower control arms. However, I don't want more than that because um, I'm not tracking the car. Uh, like a good camber is probably like three degrees negative for tracking. I don't need that. I just want to correct the positive camber that I, intro that I introduced. So we are going to go and it's real simple. We're going to go and adjust this real quick to see if I can get some a little bit of negative camber on this stock Carrera S. So what's the point of camber? Well, typically when you turn a wheel, it cocks to the side a little bit. This means that when you're in a corner, if your camber is not set correctly, all of your tire is not on the concrete. This is why drift guys will often have a lot of negative camber on their cars because when they turn at such an extreme level, they need it in order to keep all the traction on the road. For the average consumer, however, camber usually means two things. One, tire wear, and two, looks. So for me, I notice a lot of tire wear on the outside edges of my sidewall. That could be either due to low air pressure or too much positive camber. I suspect it's the camber because I dropped down to 18 inch wheels from the stock 19 inch wheels. The other thing it means for your average consumer is looks. A lot of people will actually camber out their wheels for the style, especially if they're trying to get their car as low as possible to the ground, they'll do this. But at that point, you're actually removing tire from the road, so it's not a performance mod, it's more of an aesthetic. That is not what I'm trying to do here. All I'm trying to do is correct, get as much negative camber out of the wheels as possible here so I have more grip in the corner and more even tire wear on my 18 inch wheels. And to do that, I'm gonna go see my friends Brandon and Andy at V8 Car Shop Okinawa, and they're gonna try and help me out with this real quick. So here it is, use these three bolts and they, you can barely peek it right there. There's it's there's a slider underneath the nut there, and you can actually use this to slightly adjust the camber on the car without having to do any modification parts. And hopefully, it doesn't mess with the alignment too bad. So it's, it should just be a matter of just moving those and putting the car back down. So once you take them off, now you can kind of see each bolt to the strut tower uh, has a little bit room for adjustment, right? And we put it on these rollers so that it can wiggle back and forth. And this, this should allow for about one, negative one and a half degrees of camber stop. So now he's taking weight off the car so he can wiggle the wheel. So essentially what's happening here is he's telling me everything he's about to do and I'm repeating it to the camera. It sounds like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so the easiest way to move it over is he's got this pry bar in here to kind of push it out of the, push it in one direction. And we're going to tighten it down. So now I'm going to turn the wheel, lock it from left to right, just to kind of, um, try and kind of set the new... Because we just lifted up from one side to the other. So if you have a 997, not GT3, and you want to get a little bit more extra camber, you can do that really simply by just loosening those bolts, moving the, the strut tower over, wiggling the wheels, and putting it back, and tightening them back up, and putting it back down on the ground. Might be what you need, might not be helpful at all. It's up to you.